I'm gonna do a car chat because I haven't done one in a little while and we are in a long line for coffee. So I thought I would go over how our Christmas season has been. So I will say that overall it's been pretty good. Um, I in all honesty have kind of lost my Christmas spirit. Um, with everything going on with Trevor and um, you know it's it's hard on everyone. It's not just hard on us. It's hard on my mom. It's hard on his teachers. It's hard on everyone. And um, I feel that it's really taking its toll on people. And, you know, we're all at that point where we all kind of feel done with it. Because um, we know that he's capable of better behavior. We know that this isn't how he truly wants to be. That he's truly fighting some inner battle. And it's hard to watch. Not to mention, it's hard, you know, for my mom. Because my mom doesn't want to hear that, you know, he may be going to military school. My mom doesn't want to hear that. Um, but... You know, I'm at that stage where I'm, I'm getting to the point that I'm really, I've run out of options. I've run out of choices. So, um, you know, that's been kind of hard. I won't say that our Christmas spirit is totally gone, but it's, you know, it's kind of hard. I will say that we also took that trip. So that trip, we were gone Thursday through Monday. And then in reality, you know, I was really prepping and everything on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then also, you know, the Tuesday, Wednesday after. I was prepping everything for me to be gone and then, you know, kind of getting my house back in order or whatever. So, um, I really almost lost a full week of time and I feel like it really pushed us behind. Um, before I left, all my wrapping was done. The house was really, really clean and, uh, things were in a good spot. And then when we left, um, you know, that kind of pushed everything back. I got a little bit behind in housework because like, I mean, like I had to go through and like clean doorknobs and stuff like that. And it just must be stuff that I just do naturally and just don't even realize it at this point. Like there was just stuff and sticky and everything everywhere. So that was kind of hard to, you know, do that and deal with that when I had the house in such good shape. Um, and then I got behind on wrapping presents and stuff like that. So I'm finally, today is the 23rd and I'm finally all caught up on wrapping presents besides, um, the big stuff. So, um, you know, you can actually get into my office now. The teacher's gifts are all gone and stuff like that. So I will say that I really did enjoy the teacher gifts of like all the specials, the candy canes. I think I'll do something like that again next year. One of the dollar, whether it be like a bar or candy canes or whatever. Um, and I'll buy those early on in the season because those are an easy, affordable little gift and just something to let them know, thank you. Like, I know that those teachers are the ones that don't really get anything. You know, typically it's your main teacher and then maybe some aides. So really like that. And I really like the fact of, um, you know, the gift that we gave the main teachers this year. But again, I'll go on Pinterest and find something cute and do that next year for the main teachers. But it's getting hard, you know. This year alone, we have four teachers we have two, three, three aids that I bought for. I didn't buy aids for Trevor and Aubrey's class because they're older and I don't feel that they use them as much. Um, and then Casey had tons of therapists and paraprofessionals. Like I think he, I don't even know how many he had, uh, probably eight to 10. Trevor had eight to 10 specials and people that help him with math and stuff like that. And then Aubrey had five, like it's a lot and it adds up, but these people have such a hard job that it's something that I want to do. I want to give them a little something because their job is really difficult. Um, so, you know, I'm really impressed with my teacher's gifts. Uh, I will say that we would never take a vacation during December again. That was, it just really threw a wrench into everything. Not to mention, you know, we probably spent, I think we figured out we spent $22.50 on our vacation between paying for it ahead of time or whatever. And that's $22.50 that A, we could have used towards our next trip which our next trip would have been halfway paid off by now, or, um, you know, we could use it, you know, we could use it for Christmas. So that we definitely, I mean, I don't think we felt like a true pinch, but it was one of those things where we were like, well, if we hadn't done this, then we could have done this type of thing. And, you know, like I'm really behind, like we haven't done gingerbreads yet. We haven't looked at Christmas lights yet. And we haven't done our story yet, uh, writing our letters to Santa. So when the kids get home from school, unfortunately this year, just gonna have to miss out on the gingerbread. The kids are all gonna do their gingerbread before we have to take Trevor to therapy. And then um, I'm gonna take Trevor to therapy, and then we are going to uh, 
write our letters to Santa, I'm thinking. And then tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So my mom and my brother and everyone will be there. So, and we also have hot chocolate at um, my family's house. So I have to somehow find time to do hot chocolate. I may do Santa letters tomorrow. Excuse me, lights, hot not chocolate. chocolate. I may do Santa letters tomorrow, like during the day while they track Santa or whatever, and then do lights tonight after Trevor and I get back from um, therapy and just have them eat something that Jeff can make them or something like that. Or I can have dinner made really, really early tonight and eat dinner before then and then go see lights tonight when the kids don't have school, they can stay up late. But it's like, you know, us losing that week truly like really put us in a time crunch with other things as well, which is why we're so behind. So. Um, definitely never taking a vacation in the month of December again. I would love for the kids to see the castle and stuff like that at Christmas, but I think we'll wait a year or two. I think our only trip next year to Disney will be our April trip or, you know, we may push it back to like August or something, but we're going to have one trip next year and it won't be around the holidays. Uh, I really want to plan ahead buying like the candy canes and stuff like that better next year and stuff like that. So, um, things are going well, but I wish they were better, I guess I could say.